If you ask any embroidery business to list the pieces of equipment in their shop that they could live without, you're likely to hear the heat press at the very top of that list. Having a heat press in your shop is going to elevate your embroidery beds. Having a heat press, you offer your customer different price points without devaluing your embroidery and instead of running 8,500 stitches on your machine, you're running 15 seconds under a heat press. First we're going to do a typical CAD cut heat transfer film from stalls. Align it up, heat press it for 15 seconds. Peel, you're done. Next we'll do a CAD cut flock material available from stalls. It gives you a, a nice little raised effect to it, similar and comparable to a direct embroidery. Easy to lay out, just like the film, lay it, press it, 15 seconds, peel it, you're done. Another way an embroidery company can utilize a heat press is with their applique, just by finishing it off. We've sewn out two hoodies with your typical Stahl's twill with the heat seal adhesive. One, we're not going to heat press. The other one, we're going to heat press. That will eliminate any puckering after multiple washes. The extra few seconds under the heat press will make for a much higher quality finished garment for your customer. The third way every embroiderer can utilize a heat press is by offering screen printing without the expense of equipment. All you do, buy screen printed transfers from Transfer Express. They're easy to apply, they take only a few seconds, and you're in the screen printing business. You don't have to contract anything out. This type of design is likely something you wouldn't embroider. However, why turn this business down? Another reason for a heat press is getting into some of the special effects graphics as well as full colors including gradients, fills, and photographs. All applied with a heat press. This is a special effects material called CAD Cut Glitter Flake available from stalls. Press it for 10 to 15 seconds. Peel, you're done. The final way we're going to show how every embroiderer could use a heat press is with the Stahl's rip away applique process. Here we're showing the glitter flake. To do it, basically all you have to do, you have to have your sole file. You're going to hoop up your garment like you normally would do, run a tray stitch so you know where the design is going to be, take a panel of the different materials that Stalls offers, lay it down, run your sew file, which is basically a satin stitch. When you're done, rip it away, take the garment off the machine, then place it under the heat press, press, you're finished. At the beginning of the video, we told you that embroiderers think that the heat press is one of the most important pieces of equipment in their shop. Throughout the video, we showed you examples of how and what they use it for. Hopefully, you see the potential in why an investment in a heat press is a pretty good thing. I'm Mark Marola for Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.